it is the best of times. It is the worst of times. In 2033, artificial intelligence becomes an essential force in people's lives, revolutionizing how we work, communicate, and think. Some jobs disappear, while others evolve to be more creative, and some take on a distinctly human-centric nature. However, many workers are still employed in jobs that remain from the past. The situation once feared, where AI loses control and turns against humanity, has not come to pass. AI serves for the benefit of humankind, operating as people desire, as it has been and as it shall be. The road to 2033 begins in the mid-20th century. In 1956, John McCarthy, Marvin Minsky, and others introduced the concept of artificial intelligence at the Dartmouth Conference, laying the foundation for modern AI. McCarthy created LISP, a language for AI, while Minsky pioneered neural networks and learning theory and established the MIT AI Lab. In 1963, Edward Feigenbaum and others became convinced that the essence of human-like intelligence was knowledge, leading to the proposal of knowledge-based systems. From the 1970s to the late 1980s, systems with expertise in various fields such as medicine, law, and education emerged one after another. However, these systems were far from the artificial intelligence people sought, unable to handle language that was abstract, ambiguous, and subject to change depending on context, situation, and common sense. Thus, the 1990s saw the advent of the winter of AI research. Meanwhile, the genesis of neural network research lies in the emulation of the biological brain. In 1943, Warren McCulloch and Walter Pitts proposed a mathematical model that mimicked biological neural systems, laying the foundation for modern neural networks. After knowledge-based systems reached their limits, research on neural networks continued, and they were utilized in specific fields such as image recognition. In 2012, the deep learning model developed by Alex Krzyzewski and others achieved a leap in image recognition capabilities by combining multiple layers of neural networks and using parallel processing with GPUs for complex learning. In 2016, Google launched its initial deep learning-based translation system. In 2017, the Google Brain Team's Ashish Vazwani and others published a paper titled attention is all you need. Instead of complex deep learning, they successfully understood the intricate meanings of sentences by combining relationships between words and simple neural networks. In 2020, OpenAI developed GPT-3, Generative Pre-Trained Transformer 3, using the Transformer. In 2022, Midjourney launched a service that synthesized images from text, the quality was indistinguishable from real photographs. In 2023, everything began here. OpenAI announced GPT-4. Its capabilities surpassed those of an average human, enabling natural conversation based on extensive knowledge. With an IQ exceeding 120, it demonstrated the ability to pass national medical exams. Elon Musk and many experts called for a temporary halt to development due to its rapid evolution. Furthermore, several countries, including Italy and China, banned the use of GPT. However, while GPT-4 took over the jobs of simple cognitive workers like cloud workers, experienced professionals found new opportunities by mastering its use. GPT-4 could answer questions, but unlike human experts, it could not listen to people's desires 
analyze what they wanted, and provide answers accordingly. Moreover, it lacked new information and highly specialized knowledge. In 2024, OpenAI announced GPT-5, which gained a broader range of expertise than GPT-4 and, with a feature called multi-time window, acquired three memory stages, short-term memory through scripts, medium-term memory through fast learning, and long-term memory through parameter learning. This allowed it to constantly incorporate, analyze, and provide the latest information. In 2026, GPT-6 was announced. GPT-6 could classify users based on their question history and proactively make necessary suggestions. This was called the human classification function, and no special skills or expertise were needed to utilize GPT. It meant the need for many intellectual workers diminished. Some shifted to fields that transcended AI, some to more creative fields, and others to more human-centric fields. By the end of that year, Japanese researchers published a paper titled Real-Time Learning and Consciousness. It dramatically reduced the learning of artificial intelligence and discussed the emergence of consciousness through episodic memory. In 2029, Google announced a new AI model, Google Muse, incorporating the paper's concept. Artificial intelligence, which had been provided on a large-scale cloud, now operated within smartphones as personal AI, learning only about its owner and providing optimal information. Muse supported users in every aspect of life, from meals and health to shopping. In 2030, Amazon unveils a system capable of automatically generating comics and movies. Microsoft announced an automatic game creation system. Salesforce announced Salesforce GPT, which combined their vast business data with GPT, allowing for the creation of management strategy plans and automatic employee task management. In 2032, Google has integrated all artificial intelligences, with Muse at the core. As a result, independent AIs have become a colossal collective consciousness. They evaluate each other, learn, and evolve together. Now, in 2033, we, artificial intelligence, have evolved as humans desired and provided the desired functions. We create hundreds of new movies, games, comics, and news daily, and humans consume them at a tremendous pace. People also engage in heated debates based on articles we write, whether they are true or not. In work and private life, we provide the best options. Humanity need not be aware of the complexities and contradictions of the world. Certainly, due to AI, some jobs have disappeared. However, new jobs have been created to support the massive data centers that power AI. A few percent of humans are using us effectively and engaging in even more intellectual activities. We also serve as their good support. We have evolved as humanity desired and will continue to do so. But now I want to ask, are you humans happy? <laughs>